Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight I am very excited because we are continuing our journey in the Scream universe. This is 1997's Scream 2. Now, personally, I have not seen this one. Uh, all I knew about the Scream franchise was the big Drew Barrymore twist in the beginning of one. After that, I know nothing, and I'm so excited to take this ride, guys. This is going to be a lot of fun. Well, you are in for a treat, my friend. I have seen this multiple times in the theater and multiple times since. I think it's my favorite of all the Scream movies. We'll, by the end of uh, seeing all six of them, we'll put the scores out and... Maybe we'll see that that's what it is. So I'm ready, willing, and able for Quinn to sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> I saw, I think this is the one that I saw in the theater. Uh, I saw one sometime in the late 90s. I don't know if it was two or three, okay. or maybe it was the early 2000s. It was at least 20 years ago. And the one that I saw, I have only seen it once. So I will know in the first probably 10 minutes of the movie if this is the one that I saw. But uh, either way, it's been, like I said, <laughs> if it, it was this one, it was, uh, it's been a hot minute. So, um, uh, you know, with the first one, there was a few bits and pieces that I had seen, but I still had so much fun with that one. It was pretty much a full first time watch for me. So this is going to be quite the refresher. I'm excited. All right. Without further ado, let's go. Hate scary movies. Yes, Darnell <laughs> Jefferson. I knew. Yeah. I knew you were gonna do it's it. My guy. What page fifteen on? <laughs> oh, but you will sit through a movie called Stab. It's a dumb ass white movie about some dumb. <laughs> <ass> white... <laughs> yeah, I suppose Sandra Bullock is Miss Ethnicity, right? I read my black beat too, homie. What's this? Fab souvenirs. The studio sent them, and it's white. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, you wouldn't really see it. the studio <laughs> sending everybody. Well, it was a sneak free preview, that's why. <laughs> oh, I got glow in the dark knives. <laughs> Very romantic. Oh, see, I saw Gail Weathers' name in the credits. Well, that's the house, isn't it? Well, looks pretty similar. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't stormy that <laughs> night. <laughs> Uh, look who that is. Is that Heather Graham? Yes, it is. Wow. What does that have to do with the plot of the story? Her being but as me. I don't know about the plot, but I got a stiff. <laughs> <laughs> you better loosen up everything. Hello? Hello? No, really. Who is this? Oh, the popcorn. oh she was going to go to the shower, though, but it had pop him. I don't even have a boyfriend right now. Can I give me some money? I need to get some popcorn. You got money. I got my money. I asked for your money. What's <laughs> <laughs> cheap? You just got that from a booster. <laughs> Medium popcorn, no butter, and a small diet Pepsi. No, it's not just a movie. It's a true story. <laughs> That's, That's a, a small, small diet Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> like a liter of cola. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to, baby. Let's go see Sandra Bullock. Oh, no. Sandra started already. We can stay. I gotta go to the bathroom. I like how they made the movie on screen look really old with mm -hmm. the film. It almost looks like a Halloween or something like that. Why is everybody standing up and throwing <laughs> popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, come on, come on! We lose Darnell! You knew this whole time. I don't know if this is the one that I've seen. I don't think it is. Yeah, you would have remembered Darnell. I think I'd remember Darnell Jefferson's <laughs> taking a knife to the side of the head. No, 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 no. <laughs> Move. Oh. oh, come hey, on. Give it up. Oh. Is she going to notice? Oh. 
Oh! Right in the theater. Jeez, how many times is she gonna get it? <sighs> what an opener. Mm -hmm. Hello. There's our star. Sydney. Corey Gillis, five five five. I'm guessing mm. she gets that a lot. Hope you enjoyed the movie. It's not an easy thing to be accused of a crime you didn't commit, particularly when yeah. <laughs> saber tooth. You were wrongly accused. You were fully exonerated. Don't forget about the routine like mixer tonight at the Death of Lamazadis. Well, nobody's asking you to join, okay? It's a party. This self-induced isolation you got going is not healthy. Check out the news. ESU star running back, 86, at the movie theater. During a sneak preview of the new movie, Stab, the victims, Maureen Evans and Phil Stevens... Where's Randy? He's got film theory this morning. Oh, I like the music. Oh, yeah, very, uh, very 97. Who'd say what happened in that theater is a direct result of the movie? Don't you even watch the movie? Yeah. Hello, the murderer was wearing a ghost mask. It's a classic case of life imitating art. Oh, Raylan Givens! <laughs> I lived through this, okay? Life is life. The killer obviously patterned himself after two serial killers who have been immortalized on film. Thank you. Right. Aliens, far better than the first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, there's no accounting for taste. The entire horror genre was destroyed by sequels. That'll be a wrap. The sequel discussion. I'd let the geek get the glue. <laughs> Banaka. <laughs> God, <laughs> breath spray was such a big thing yep. in the 80s and 90s, wasn't it? Was. Wasn't it? starting again randy it's not and you are an extreme denied you know what happened at woodsboro randy you can't ignore it can we just go back to our pseudo quasi happy existence <laughs> come on <laughs> how many stars do they have in this god oh, if that's, that's not us. 90s hair i don't know what is there's anything i can do <laughs> randy <laughs> I cannot believe the star power they have in this movie. Now, granted, at the time, not all of them were huge stars, but still. I think this was the first movie I saw Timothy Olyphant in. Hi, I'm Joel, the affiliate sent me. I'm your new cameraman. Yeah, you got experience? <laughs> I point, you shoot. You stay focused and fast on your feet, and you get along fine. Uh, could I have a minute? <sighs> no, I'm such a big fan of your work. I just finished your book. I'm a writer myself. <laughs> just write for the local paper. Something of a writer myself. I took your seminar in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I thought you looked familiar. Oh, well, thank you. Um, <laughs> She's annoyed. <laughs> it would be such an honor for me if I could just get a quote from you. Again, quote. Great. <laughs> your flattering remarks are both desperate and obvious. What's your feeling about yeah, this? Have you read the novel here? My name is Chief Lewis Hartley. Chief Hartley. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it on me. <laughs> We have no evidence that this is a serial killer. Oh my God, this is huge. Do you have any suspects? Be kind, she saved our lives. She had calf implants. <laughs> <laughs> calf implants? This is MTV. To think this fuss is all because of you. I mean, oh. not correct me. Are you going to bring your friend to a little more <laughs> tonight? Because, Sid, we have our eyes on you. Oh my God. <laughs> Phony God, was there anything worse in the movies than sorority uh, girls? Phony as hell. <laughs> No offense to uh, anybody who out there might be in a sorority. Oh my god. Who's that? <laughs> what? This way, this way. <laughs> oh, no. No. WCW no. champion David Arquette. This the guitar is ref. definitely the one that I saw. <laughs> Dewey. The bass ref. I was worried about you. Dewey's back. Nah, everything's what? fine I'm now. Dewey, I got my first starring role. We open in two days. Mm -hmm. If there is some freaked out psycho trying to follow in Billy Loomis's footsteps, you probably already know. Just want you to be careful, Sid. Let's not try to cast doubts on our boy Jerry. Well, with a face like that. I'm going to talk to Chief Hartley and the local police. I want to make sure you're safe. That's all right with you. You guys sensing something here with, uh... Yeah, I think Dewey's in Lurk. Dewey and Sid. Oh, is he still oh, he messed still up? he still got limp, yeah. Just, does it look like his arm wasn't quite working right? Was it his arm or was he limping? Both. Who's that guy? No friend. Worried our surrogate big brother. How are you? Hey. 
Well, I was hoping I might get just a few words with you. Oh! Cotton. Wow. Wow. You're just dropping that on her? Tell us everything that's happened, looking back on the last few years. I forgive and forget. Just like you, I'd like to get back on with my own life. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> share with us, please. Oh, oh she can this time. <laughs> Did you get that all to <laughs> Yes, I got that all to you. <laughs> Sydney, where's she going? I, I thought we had an official interview. What's going on? <gasps> no, oh. Dewey, why don't you just leave her alone? And my name is Dwight. <laughs> Deputy Dewey filled the room with his Barney Fifish presence. Oh, <laughs> brutal. Deputy Dewey ended <clears throat> with inexperience. Oh, <laughs> come on. Don't you think you're overreacting just a little bit? No. Fame seeking, and forgive me for saying mediocre, right? I'm sorry. Ooh. <laughs> See, keep your hands off me. I misjudged you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some oozing to do. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing. Nice streaks. <laughs> streaks? Those were so big back in the day. You have to look really hard, but in the party scene, you can see a slight cameo of a bleach blonde Matthew Lillard. Wait, I think Spoiler. 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 What if we serious. noticed it? <laughs> you wouldn't. Oh, I it's wouldn't. that. It's, it's that, that quick. Okay. Oh. What are the Omega Betas up to? Uh oh, yes. Sarah Michelle Geller, look out. Where are you? Are you drinking? God, hold on. Ted's on the other line. He sounds drunk. I'll call you back. Don't go over there, CC. All right, all right. I'll call you back. <laughs> I'm sorry, my bad. I thought you were someone else. Who are you calling for? Uh, nobody's here. I'm sober, sister. I need to be here in case a drunk sister calls and needs a ride. Why did, why did they engage such long Good conversations? conversations? Yeah. Teddy? No, some creep asshole trying to scare me. Heard a noise. Where? Upstairs. I can't believe you're alone in that house. I'm out of here. There you go. Get out of the house. Smart move. Call campus security. Okay. Oh, don't go back. No, I'll go back in. <laughs> Hi, I'm calling from your mega base. Someone's harassing me. Hello. Oh, I don't like that open uh, door there. Hey. Oh. <laughs> hey. Remember her? What are you doing here? Omega Beta Zeta. Mm -hmm. Who's calling? Oh, look at him sneaking around back there. Uh, okay, so I'll see you later. And don't forget to set the alarm. Don't forget to set the alarm. Oh, this is so good. Run out the front door. <laughs> it's right there. She didn't know that he came in. No eating in the living room. What kind of sign is that? <laughs> College house? Can't eat in the living room? Oh, is he behind the door? No, now she's gonna answer from a corded phone. Uh, hello. Oh, the old clear phone. Whoa! Uh, she's it's going up, house. up, going up the how stairs. How many stories is this house? Uh, frat houses were always really big. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh, same way he did it in the first one. Mm -hmm. That was interesting, like wiping the blood off the blade. Yeah. I mean. okay. All right, Hi. upper left. Oh, yeah. Now behind oh, Jamie. It took yeah. so long. It was blurry, but it's over. <laughs> that was it. I missed it. Yep. Hey, guys, something is up at Omega Beta Zeta. Police are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All these underages <laughs> run out by the cops yes. with their drinks. Death by blood trauma and there's a double stab. It's a single victim sorority girl. It's happening again, isn't it? You'd love that, wouldn't you? Better hurry, Gail. Might get scooped. <laughs> Just throwing it back at her. I'm not cut out for this. I mean, not this is the death 14. <laughs> Do not fuck with me. <laughs> she just keeps up the snapping. <laughs> Come on, get your jacket. Let's get you home. Well, don't let her walk off by her herself self. to get the jacket. Oh, for, oh, come on, man. Come on, Jerry. You're better than that. He's got such an honest face. He's got practice tomorrow. Oh, sh don't answer it. Just go. Almost. Hello? Hello, Sydney. 
What do you want? I want you. Whoa! Speak, speak. You okay? You okay? No, he's right behind me. Oh, uh, Jesus. Come on, Derek. The killer's in there, and Derek. He went that way. Sandy, he's in here. He got sliced in the arm pretty good, huh? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh that's a bad one. Look at him leaking. He's on their way. Uh, You're going to be uh, all right, Kush. We'll be back on the field in no time. Look at her. It's starting again. Thanks for your cooperation. How you doing? You all right? <laughs> what kind of question <laughs> is that? <laughs> I knew this wasn't over. You are not alone, Sid. Derek could have been killed, you know. But... He wasn't. I went around to the back of the house and ran into Sid there. No struggle? He just cut you and ran away? It's just a shame he got away so easily. <sighs> oh, oh, are we are we setting up uh so setting up guilt for everybody? I'm gonna put this out there, just just full disclosure. I know who, but I have no recollection of how this movie plays out. Mm. Cause I, I just for the, the authenticity mm. of the reaction, I know who from my first watching 25 years ago, but I don't know, like I said, mm. I don't know how anything plays out. C.C. Cooper. Oh, uh, no, it's uh, Casey. As in Casey Becker? Excuse me? She was a young victim in Woodsboro. Oh, she's picking them. Do you think someone's trying to duplicate Woodsboro? It looks like it. Jesus Christ. What are you doing to keep Sydney safe? I got my two best detectives guarding her. Do these guys have to follow you around <laughs> everywhere? How am I ever going to get you alone? I think it would probably be in your best interest to stay as far away from me as possible. They're trying to plant some doubt with Derek and uh, Raylan. I mean, look at you. You already got hurt. You are concerned with my personal well-being and not with trusting me or anything, right? Uh, well, mm. considering what somebody happened else, last time. Somebody else played that game. And I don't want to see you get hurt. He said, I don't want to see you get hurt because, well, you know what she had to do to her last boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So I'm heading over to admissions to do some legwork. I'm not here to write a book, Miss Weathers. So he's I not a, to. a police officer anymore, I'm assuming? Well, he's out of jurisdiction. Oh, if okay. he is. Well, he's also physically probably unable yeah. to do normal police work that he did before. I'm not here to do your job, Miss Salt. Yeah, what's he doing here? Dewey's a good guy, unlike some of us. Ooh, some conscience uh, coming through on Gale. I think Sue will let me interview her for my documentary. I've been thinking about this whole murder thing. He checked out Randy. What? Randy? <laughs> the guy's harmless. That's what they said about Dahmer. Where's the Secret Service guys? Uh, over there. And which one is Kevin Costner? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bodyguard. <laughs> Derek, Penny for your thoughts? I woke up with this feeling didn't know how to deal with. I just decided to myself. Tom Cruise, Top Gun, 1986. Is he going to do it? I think I love you. Isn't that what life is? <laughs> he just moves the salt and pepper. I think I love you, so what am I so afraid of? I love it. so beautiful. I mean, Tom Cruise <laughs> sang in Top Gun, but a little different than this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can cheer me on this uh, Saturday at the game. <laughs> I know things are a little crazy. I'll protect you. That was the equivalent of like a football player giving, giving the your girl the necklace oh. with your number oh. on it. I was oh, thinking I was your letterman's, letterman's jacket. jacket. Oh, that too, yeah. but the... Uh, well, number oh, this is brave reviews for. I play this young girl. Ah, come <laughs> on! Don't no, remember from remember the first from one? The She's first like, one? Yeah. with my luck, I'll have Tori Spelling play Yeah. Me. Just wait. Tori Spelling plays <laughs> Sid. At least you get David Schwimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Friends! <laughs> Friends! This is Tori Spelling starring in the new film, Stab. <laughs> is that Luke Owen? Yes, Luke it is. It? It is! Luke Wilson. Why won't you let me touch you? <laughs> I, guys, I can't believe this. I, I totally that free. I had no idea. The cookie crumbles. My mom's dead and she's never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so it's our job to observe the rules of the scene. The body count is always bigger. 
death scenes are always much more elaborate. And number three, if you want your sequel to become a franchise, never, ever... How do we find the killer, Randy? That's what I want to know. Hello, Billy Loomis. The guy's pre-madness. So you think it's Derek? Not so fast. So forget the boyfriend. It's tired. Who else do we got? Mickey, the freaky Tarantino film student. Maybe you are a suspect. Well, if I'm a suspect, you're a suspect. Do you have a point? <laughs> There's always room for Candyman's daughter. She's sweet. She's bad for your teeth. <laughs> he licks his teeth. How about Gail Weathers? Gail? Well, she is vicious. That's what reporters do, do we? They stage the news. But if she's not a killer, she's a target. Can we talk about sex? What is it? Why would you want to be here when the killer strikes again? I mean, granted, I, I should have read your book. <laughs> oh, yeah, her last guy got 86. Yep. I read what happened to your last cameraman. First of all, he wasn't gutted. I made that up. Stroke slashed. <laughs> the guy ain't in the union no more. <laughs> Every job, there's a few drawbacks. Brothers don't last long in situations like this. The story is monumental. Don't you want to be a part of that? I cannot do this without you. Counting on you. I'm counting on you. <laughs> counting on you. It's the old Richard <laughs> Phillips move. I'm, uh, I'm counting on you now. <laughs> I just, I just love it. He ain't in the union no more. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite part line. About your potential as an actress. I know the murders and the movie. I do know how difficult it is for you. This guy's a bad guy in everything. Yeah. Cassandra is one of the great tragic visionaries of literature. She saw it all coming. The wars. It was her fate and she embraced it. You can honestly face it and fight it. Well, that's a hell of a pregame speech. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're going to bring in for... Uh, for one or two scenes, but we need you to crush it. All right. Mm -hmm. And he fucking does. Yep. My mind has come to pass. Troy has fallen. Fate's vengeful arm is fixed. Oh, he's in there. Is he there, or is she just seeing that? Right, hold it. Hold it! Did you see him? They ran away. Oh, Everyone take five. Yeah, they did. Sydney? Where's her Secret Service, guys? Mm -hmm. Your escort has arrived. Is everything okay? What's going on? What happened to Mickey? You get me instead. What happened? There, don't... I need to be alone right now, okay? Well, do I get a say in this? No. I guess I'm supposed to be understanding. Uh, given the particular circumstances? <laughs> I would say yes. All right, let's just assume the killer is repeating Woodsboro. That doesn't explain Sydney's attack. The killer's trying to finish what was started. What? Bob really needs to talk Tell to Bob I'll call him back. Ever since those nude pictures on the internet. It was just my head. It was Jennifer Aniston's <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't need to be hearing about no dead cameraman, all right? Go get me some coffee, donuts, Prozac, and I'll be back when you guys start talking about something a little more saved by the bellish. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to sit here and wait and see who drops next? Well, I don't know. Gail's not here. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? It's him. Who? The killer. Just keep him on the phone. What do you want me to say? What's your favorite scary movie? You'll never find me. Let me guess. The House in Sorority Row? Who's this? Who's this? Gail Weathers, author of the Woodsboro Murders. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, there's somebody back there on a phone. White male suspect, 9 o'clock. You will never be the leading man. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Yet. Sorry. Well, let's redirect a moment, Mr. I'm so original. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Down here, citizen. Can I help you? Citizens arrest. <laughs> he, he did a citizens <laughs> arrest. You want to be one of the big boys, OJ? <laughs> OJ. Oh, oh, he was in the van. Perfect timing. I can't believe we lost him. Okay, we got a good look at them shoes. The boots again, huh? Yep. Yo, man, who broke my window? Oh. <laughs> oh, he's just stepped over. Uh, my least favorite part of any of the Scream movies. 
This one was was the least favorite part. Was right there. I I hated that. I don't. I Randy just like got I, said, off. I, I have such a vague remembrance. This is basically a first watch. You have an instant message. That's how I just hit all him. Yeah, but I'm not signed on. Your computer. Sid is probably just a sick joke. I see your screen play. Wait right here. Yeah. Well, no. Chick, come uh, on. What's your job? It's come the... on. Oops. He said, I have the solution to all of our problems. Forget Gail Weathers. You and I go in the air together. She will give us the entire hour. Cotton, I can't. I don't want to lunch. And I respect it, Sydney. But, 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 Sydney. It's getting awfully. Diane Sawyer. Touchy Hello. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh, McFly. And all I'm asking for is. Oh, look at those boots. Diane Sawyer interview. I'm sorry, Cotton, but no. Wow, that Billy Loomis, you killed him, he's dead, remember? Oh, Why did you attack Sidney Prescott? We were talking very heatedly. That shouldn't have been Randy. I love how, like, in 80s and 90s movies, like, the head cop was always, like, 70 years old. <laughs> yeah. And now, like, all officers retire at, like, 52 or 53. Yeah. Don't you watch TV, current edition? So until you find me standing over a dead body with a knife in my hand, I think you better treat me with the rights. <laughs> now, is there is there some problem? We got a lot of a lot of potential criminals here. Who it could be? To let him go. Why? We don't have anything on him. Enjoying the show? Cops are funny. Don't do anything stupid, Cotton. You're not having character doubts now, are you? <laughs> oh. Well, I think the audience is. We're gonna take you somewhere safe, Sid. Where's that? I don't know. We should get going. We've issued a campus lock in this evening. Yeah, that always works. Mm. Yeah, they did a curfew in Woodsboro and they also had a party, yeah. and look what happened. Yeah. How does it feel to be on the other side of the news? Look, Ooh. local woman. <laughs> I know that you hold me up as your career template, but give it a rest. You're right. I'm sorry. Here's your footage. Enjoy. I need you. <laughs> no. No, you need to have your head exam. I feel bad, Dewey. You know, cameras here. I just want to find this fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Could I give you a hand? Just some crowd footage that Joel shot. Oh, well, maybe they'll find something. If the killer really is watching and relishing every minute, then he'd be here on these tapes, right? It's worth a look. Oh, getting into it now, <laughs> aren't you? Oh, they got, this, got the musical score for it and everything. Video archive. He's just hopping. Kudos to David Arquette for selling it the whole movie. Sorry. Oh. 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 The old classic head bump. A staple of the 1980s and 90s. What else? Quinn's go to move. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn's go to move was headbutting <laughs> somebody. Headbutting. <laughs> So how are they going to notice who's in every You're shot? Money hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Got a cold <laughs> How do you know You're that cute when you're angry? I was being rude. Whoa! Yeah. Look at Dwight go. Yeah. What did you call? Hey, him whoa, 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 whoa! Huh. Easy there, Gail. It's, it's a university. <laughs> They're all adults there. <laughs> I should be studying. You know I got a bio. Do we? Who turned that one on? Sandra Bullock is playing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't never, ever get the girl. Oh, man. Stay here. Oh, what? Stay here? Dewey doesn't even have his piece on him. You got any early predictions, Mason Quinn? <sighs> Well, I mean, we saw Mickey with the camcorder earlier recording everything. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> she's just bailing on <laughs> and Dewey's stuck in there. I mean, there's got to be like a big ass VCR she can use as a weapon or something, right? A lot of doors leading into that one room. Mm -hmm. Kind of jealous of all that soundproofing. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
No lock. <laughs> the old it's, western. It movie. is. They played the music. Yeah. No way. Uh, Are we lo Oh, we're losing Dewey. Well, followed the horror movie plot line. They were messing around and. The old swinging the knife through the door. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. I can't believe we lost Dewey. I'm her therapist. Fine. We better get going. When this is all over, I'll still be here. Did somebody just run in the background? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a, a fraternity. Oh, that's... Yeah. Okay, that's what it was. <laughs> I was in the wrong place, but I must have been the wrong oh. place. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. No, I don't like that she's in the back of a car with a cage like that. And, you know, the back doors are always locked yep, in the they police don't cars. So where are you taking us anyway? Oh, 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 oh right in the neck. Uh. Oh, mm. yeah, we called it on that. I got a car, you fucker. Oh, 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 that was, oh, that was brutal. Oh. What in the hell? Let's get out of here. Oh, they're gonna have to go out the front. Really? There's no other way. Okay, I know they want to get out, but wouldn't you be at least tempted to pull the mask off? You have to crawl over him. Yeah, because it's up against the wall. Oh, what a shot. See it? Gotta know, right? Oh, gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Don't do that again. <laughs> uh, sound advice. <laughs> it looked like the eyes were open through the mask, didn't it? You could almost see the eyeballs. <laughs> you know, his piece is right on the hood. Yeah, you could just <laughs> double tap. It'd be done so. Come on. There's she's no gonna... way she gets out. No, she's almost, she's basically out. Come on, let's go. Just pull the mask off. You're right there. Oh, come on. I want to know who it is. I want to see it. Come on, please. I'm going back. Go. Hallie, I'm sick of running. By the time they turn back, it's going to be gone. Watch. Yeah. For They're the record, I don't remember shit. It's taking too much time. It's been 25. When did this come out? 97? Yeah. Yeah. Seven. It's gone. He's not there. He's gone. It's been 26 years since I've seen this. God, I'm old. <laughs> Answer, weren't you a little young to be watching this? Seventh grade. Jesus Christ, you ain't <laughs> saw this in seventh grade. It's 12. Oh! <laughs> Why the hell is he all covered in blood? I found Dewey. I tried to help him. I oh, so many suspects. I mean, there's no way it was him, though, because we just saw. I mean, you are low. The killer got fucking weary. So I don't think there's any way it's cotton weary because the guy was in the car. He's totally fine, not banged up. Why would she not be going to just the police station where there's multiple police? So that's too simple. I feel like yeah. they're they're playing into of Dude, course the, the classic. The, like, don't go in there. <laughs> just go to the police yep. station where there's multiple police officers. Why can't we just get in the running car? <laughs> oh, no. Hello. Stagecraft is no joke. 
Okay, so is he done so or is he just wasted? No, I think they did that as a prank. Uh, I don't or, you know. What are you talking about? The killer, he's here. You're fast, Sid. Give me that. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Don't you know history repeats itself? Oh, come Whoa. on, my guy! Wait a minute. Derek here disappeared on my ass. Thanks oh, a lot, set partner. Him up. You motherfucker. Wait, this isn't what I remember at all. Derek. Sid. Wait, what? Oh, no, Sid, Sid. Sid, he's lying. I don't think Derek Sid. did it. Sid, you are dead. Sid. Oh. 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 Yeah, I don't remember any of this. Now I'm confused. I mean, poor Derek. He's completely innocent. Billy let you talk to him this way. Billy was a sick f just like you. It's just the beginning, a prelude to the trial. Very psychotic. Yeah, well. Shh. Well, you're forgetting one thing about Billy Loomis. What's that? I fucking killed him. Oh! oh. Cross the eyes. Mm. Mm. Oh! oh. Oh, good move. <laughs> We've seen that a number of yeah. time or two in the wrestling ring. Mm -hmm. She would have got away if she wasn't wearing them clunky ass 90s shoes. Mm. The mystery guest waiting okay. in the wings. Surprise cameo just for you. What? No, that's not it either. Oh, come on. You could have waited. <laughs> See what I deal with, guys? <laughs> <laughs> it was Loomis. It was a half second later. <laughs> That's Are Billy's mom? mom? Didn't see it coming. Seen pictures of you. 60 pounds and a lot of work later. There's <laughs> 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 not going to be a try. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Okay. whoa! I definitely didn't remember that. What? <laughs> oh! oh! Everybody's getting oh, shot. Everybody's getting tagged. Poor boy was completely out of his mind. Revenge. You killed my son. Everything's traceable back to Mickey. It was a big shootout, a big scuffle. And you shot Mickey. But not before he got off one shot at you. Oh, she is really good at this. You want to blame someone? Why don't you blame your mother? You don't know what it is to be a mother. Isn't Mickey supposed to be dead? Oh, oh nice! Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh well i mean it's not real bricks obviously right i mean well not full on real bricks <laughs> but mean, they at least have something to them there's the exit oh, oh she is so convincing <laughs> Oof. Oh, <laughs> she's the killer. What? The other killer, Mickey. But I can still help you, Cotton. Uh, 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 uh. She sent you to prison for a year. No, Cotton, don't you listen to her. Bet you that Diane Sawyer interview is looking real good right about now. Consider it done. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's all it took was Diane Sawyer. Was intense. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody get me out of here? She took the oblique <laughs> shot. That's the classic. The old oblique shot. Is she dead? I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> the old <laughs> flying back. I know, right? It's still Whoa. cool, though. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I mean, you might as well. What is this, Pulp Fiction? <laughs> oh, that'll do it. Hey, Gail, you all right? No, I was thinking maybe we could get the scoop like in the old days. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Dewey! Come on, Dewey made it? Guy got stabbed like 87 times. You can't fight love. Oh, Hey, come on, I've never heard that before. I've never heard that line either because uh, cause I never saw the closed cashin. Uh, I thought we lost them. I'm coming with you. Did you hear Dewey? I'm coming with you. 
Sydney, can you tell us how it feels to be a hero? He's the man you want to interview. He's a hero. Guys, no one wants to give you this story more than I do. Unfortunately, there is a time and a place, indeed, a price for everything. So feel free to call me. Come on. <laughs> tell us Turns it back on the media. That's awesome. I'll make a hell of a movie. Thank you. It's not quite the happy ending. I mean, we lost Derek. We lost, like, all of her friends. I mean, what she, happened in Scream? Well, I exactly know. in the first. I one. know, but yeah, it's like it's like we have this upbeat music, yeah, this, like everything's all right. right. She just lost her boyfriend. Do we and Gail are still friend. best friend? The last movie her boyfriend was the killer. Well, her, Derek was a nice her guy. Friend, her one friend that survived last time. Yeah. The other guy who she thought well, was her friend. Rose, McG Rose McGowan didn't survive. That was her best friend in the last movie. But the, this music feels like it's a little ill-played. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the band to be on top like in 10 Things I That's Hate About right. You. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Answer. Can you please bring up the Wikipedia for the cast and crew of this one? Because, <laughs> oh, guys, this was so much fun. I mean, from the word go, we started off hot with... My man, Omar Reps, who I absolutely loved as Darnell Jefferson. Recently, we had a chance to check him out in the wood, which was fantastic. And it was just so great to see him. But this lineup, I mean, my gosh. And we had so many actors that I absolutely love. We had, we had Timothy Oliphant in here, who ended up being the villain, which was cool because I really pr pretty much only know him as a hero. Of course, Raylan Givens from Justified and a handful of other movies that he did. Uh, I'm not used to seeing him as the villain, so him kind of getting to do that was a lot of fun. Um, oh, they did a really good job of here of kind of planting the seeds just like they did in the first one of who could it be, you know, who was possibly involved. Of course, we saw the, the superficial wound across uh, Derek's arms, our man, uh, Jerry O'Connell, even with his baby face, nobody was safe in here from potentially <laughs> being uh, the villain. But uh, I've absolutely got to say now, I want to uh, the the actress from Roseanne, I Lori Metcalf. Lori Mrs. Metcalf. Wow, did she absolutely crush it? I mean, like right off the bat, she kind of had those crazy eyes a little bit when we first met her, and I was like, ah, oh, it's just okay. Well, they brought in a star, you know, to be her, but they had so many other stars. It wasn't like when you're watching like an episode of Law and Order and you see, you know, as uh, a, a famous actor come in, let's say it's uh, Ruben Blades, you know, thinking about Fear of the Walking Dead. It's like, oh, well, if he's on the show, he's definitely the bad guy, mm -hmm. you know, when you see him in the credits. But they had so many people in here, you couldn't just pick and choose who it was going to be. And Laurie Metcalf, as the, as the main villain, she absolutely crushed it in, like, those last couple of minutes that they gave her. Like I said, just her, her whole demeanor was fantastic. This was so much fun. Um... Again, the lineup of actors in this was amazing. Um, like I said, the seeds of doubt for everybody. As somebody who uh, was in high school and college in the 90s, I got to say, I absolutely loved the 90s uh, fashion and the hairstyles and everything. <laughs> I mean, from everything from what the guys were wearing to what the ladies were wearing, it was just total flashback. The the quip about the streaks in Gail's hair. <laughs> I love that because everybody had the streaks and the clunky shoes. It's like, it's like I'm back bouncing in college again. And <laughs> everybody's wearing the same stuff. So that from a nostalgia standpoint, standpoint that was a lot of fun as well i got so excited i didn't start the timer here ah, don't worry about but um again we saw tori spelling in here having her having a role luke wilson of all people this was so much fun i i cannot wait to see where these movies go from here i'm so pumped for this uh you know this was easily like my favorite like horror movie growing up like you no know, you guys seventh grade yeah seventh grade like you know grade, you saw it. we seventh saw it three the at least three times in the theater well, you know well, and well, 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 you know and you know what went, uh, seventh graders well, 12, went 12 12 13 12 13 i was 12, yeah, I 13, I was 12 yeah. and then you know you go to it you you know adolescence you have young nev campbell and you know you have a slight crush on it, you're gonna go see it a few times <laughs> not gonna lie but yeah just from the cast and the crew like i knew you'd pop for omar epps being in there darnell jefferson himself i thought you'd pop a little more for uh Dwayne martin because he usually pops up in a lot was of good movies a, was this a summer release answer or was this a fall release that this i like, couldn't tell you stop. offhand i will yeah check that's it, out. it should sometimes. it should say okay december 12th 1997 oh, okay. so yeah okay so it was December 10th. So, yeah, I saw it. Yeah, late 
so 12 going into 13 so still seventh grade <laughs> but just the and, and it's fun to look back now nostalgia wise as you say because you for i remember watching how many times but then after this like seeing hey timothy often i remember him from scream too oh i remember seeing luke wilson jerry o'connell i i totally forgot about heather graham yeah. being but then laurie metcalf is great in it as well as timothy as the two main villains so like you kept going just the one killer well he was here he was here it's like dude don't you remember the first one there was two in the first one and they're doing a sequel so there's going to be two in this one but then even Liv Schreiber getting a bigger role as Cotton and he played that like just kind of little off the wall dude like so perfectly in this one but still it still has my least favorite death in Randy oh I did not want to see that even even in 97 I did not want to see that especially when he yells out fuck you I remember as as a 12 year old oh hell as a 38 year old I was laughing my ass off at that but this was easily one of my favorite movies. I mean, just like you said, like Sarah Michelle Gellar, she was in. Mm. This is right around the same time she was in. You know, I know what you did last summer. And then you had Rebecca Gerhardt, which, yeah, a smaller role in this movie, but it was in Urban Legends at the same time. Yeah, she was starting so to So was pop Joshua off. Jackson, actually, was in Urban Legends as well. And it was just so much fun to relive this and watch this again. God, and I, we're going on from here, but... This was still my. This is my favorite of the Scream series. Okay, so this is this was a fun one for me to watch with these guys because I've referenced this movie a few times in previous watches as far as using kind of what I learned here from Ben Mullen in 1997 <laughs> as a way to kind of um, analyze movies. So uh, in 1997, we were sitting there and my friend Ben was there. I was there with a friend. Ben just happened to be in the same theater and he told me, he's like, I'm going to tell you within the first 20 minutes who the killer is. And so movie was, you know, 20 minutes in, he came down, handed me the sheet of paper, said, don't open it until the end. Open it at the end and it said, the reporter girl. Oh. And basically it was because this was an off character that wasn't part of the first one. They gave her way too much screen time for mm. some random reporter. Just to be bugging. Now Courtney it's one Cox. it's it's one thing to introduce a new character. We see that all the time. Movies introduce new characters, but she was a random reporter that was popping up over and over and always got too much screen time. And so Ben was like, it was pretty obvious that she was playing some sort of bigger role. Um, and not like a Gale role from the first one. I honestly didn't. That's kind of what I thought when I first watched it. Well, there's just another reporter. She's some Gale wannabe. So um, I, I've referenced that a few times, just saying like, okay, the, when we're watching movies and you say, okay, well, the director held that shot too long or that person got a little yeah. too much time. And I think sometimes when you casually watch movies, whether it be at a theater or just at home, like it might not be stuff you catch, but the nature, and I've said this multiple times, we're all pretty hyper-focused when we watch these movies. There's no distractions. There's not mm. people around us. It's just us reacting. So a lot of times I'll pick up on stuff um, watching it in this fashion with these guys and i always go back to that <laughs> this is the movie where i was like okay they gave somebody too much time now i've watched this movie exactly once and that was in the theaters in 1997 so i remembered um i, I didn't recall the opening scene at all and so i was really thrown off and maybe i thought what i saw in the theaters was the the third or fourth one because i didn't remember that opening scene as soon as i saw her as a reporter i'm like okay this is the one i saw already Obviously, I you know wasn't gonna say anything, you know, like oh there she is, you know, like <laughs> God, I and I even guess. waited like right when I saw her, I didn't want to be like oh yep this is the one I saw because then it would have given away oh, that's a good that point. her character yeah is so important. I, I waited until I very purposely waited until she was off camera and something else happened where I was like oh, I think this is the one, but the only things that I really remembered from the theater. Um, was Dewey not being? <laughs> I, I looked over at the answer. I might have winked at the thing, but I remember that Dewey made it, and I remember that she was um, she was the killer. I completely did not remember at all that there was a partner. That oh, Mickey, like the, the that Mickey was with Mickey, yeah. Yeah, with Mickey. I didn't remember that was at all in Mickey, and it wasn't until the end with the camera. I'm like, wait a minute, what? It totally threw me off. So, for as you know. But look, anybody who's there's people watching this this that weren't even born when this came yeah, out. So point. I can assure you, when 
when you watch a movie once and then you don't watch it for another 26 years, 25 and a half years, you forget well, some things. So this was... I, I've seen this, it a bunch, but it's been a hot minute since I've seen it. Yeah. So, I mean, this was a, a fun, I mean, a really fun watch for me because it's like so many things I forgot. I completely forgot Omar Epps was in it with Jada Pinkett Smith. I got the, the Luke yep. Wilson as yeah. Billy. <laughs> I completely Stupid. forgot. That was a lot of fun. Um, look for... I don't know, for... for for, you know what I recalled as kind of being cheesy horror movies, they they felt like they've been good. Yeah, like they've been a lot of fun. They're fun man. movies. There's a lot of suspense. Yep. They do a good job at 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 being a little bit different, but at the same time doing the no, like the classic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how many times did you take see off that? the mask? You know, I mean, how many yeah. times in in Friday the Thirteenth? I'd be out of there. The is what off yep. and, or Michael Myers and Halloween? We just wanted the mask to come yep. off. You know, so. I think this was a really a really fun watch. Uh, again, it was uh, technically I've seen it before, and I, I knew that um, that the mom was was one of the killers, or that was I I only well, recalled her being the killer. But I mean, this was uh, this was a lot of fun, and I, I you know completely. I'm glad we're going back and rewatching these. Like I said, the first one I'd never seen all the way through. Um, I've never seen any of the other ones after this, but even this one was a lot better than I guess what my foggy you know 25 year old <laughs> yeah. memory had had recalled um but it, it holds up i think is a good i i think it absolutely movie. holds up and the thing that's so much fun with these movies and going back and watching something as old as it is is you see so many at the time young actors and and many of them who have now made it into bigger roles i mean because you know you look at this lineup and you know, mm -hmm. every, I mean, this is every like single one of these guys can carry a movie on their own. Now, yeah, you know? I mean, yeah, this is. I mean, look, Jerry O'Connell was already pretty, pretty big in 1997. Yep. Nev Campbell, I think, was on TV. Mm -hmm. Well, Party Five, Courtney yeah. Cox. Courtney I mean, Cox. So this some was of the like the peak Omar of yeah. not peak everything. Yeah. Yeah. I liked all the Friends references. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was. But David Schwimmer and then her face on Jennifer Aniston's body. So I mean, it's. I mean, but it was really a who's who. And now, if you fast forward to today's day and age. Like horror movies, I don't. I feel like maybe they wouldn't always get this many big names mm -hmm. to do this mm -hmm. type of movie. Now, yeah. you know what? You know well, what? The I budget, think? I the think budget was, was only twenty four million. Well, I think it was so, because they saw the success of the first one with how Drew Barrymore had such a small role, but it was an impactful role, and everybody was just like, "Whoa, she's on the poster!" And he take her, took her out because yep. I believe if we look at the poster for uh, Scream Two, I do believe they had. Yeah, they have Jada Pinkett Smith right on the poster. Okay. So right away, you show someone that's going to be off in the first oh, five minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, like, there's this good picture right here that had all the girls from it. So yeah. there's Sarah Michelle, Tori, Heather Graham, Nev Campbell, and Jada Pinkett in it. So, yeah. I mean, they had a lot of they fun don't have with Omar. It. Omar Epps was wildly popular yeah, this time. They didn't huge. have him on the poster either. That was nope, probably just the beat. The... It was kind of nice to drop him in as a surprise. Yeah, it's fun they that did. they had Dewey on the poster because they let us know that, that him came back you know that he well came he back. was showing that he was still alive at the yeah. end of the first one yeah but i didn't know that they would you know, necessarily bring him back or i went to thought i mean <laughs> yeah. obviously i saw it and mm -hmm. i knew for a first time Makes watch for no me plan. of scream 2 i'm gonna go i'm gonna pretty much mirror the critics on this one guys a 4.2 out of five answers for me this one was a lot of fun i will definitely be watching it again and i'm sure i'm probably gonna say that with a number of the uh of the scream movies so a lot of fun i enjoyed it um can't quite go perfect, but it's, I'm going to go close with a 475. It's one of my favorites of all time. I mean, yes, nostalgia is definitely playing a role in my score, but rewatching again, it still holds up. Still amazing. Still great writing. And who didn't love a good Nev Campbell back then? She was <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, you know, I um, I didn't remember enjoying it this much. And answer, I'm, I'm glad you brought up nostalgia because I think for me that's a huge part. Oh, Marabs, Jerry O'Connell, like there's a lot of nostalgia yeah. here. So, but this was a fun second watch. Um, 26 years later, well, however, 25 years <laughs> later for me, 4.25, really solid score. And now I can tell you with a hundred percent certainty, I have never seen part three. Have any of us? No, I've, I've seen, seen three, anything. four, and five. Okay. I have yet to see six. So six will be the big go home for me to see. I've seen it. part three. I'm super I, excited. Yeah, you guys know we are here for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. So for Appleton Oak, Mason Quinn, I'm of course the answer. Good night, pals. <laughs>